Okay, here we are at Steeler Construction Supply in Seattle. That's MLK. I'm right by uh, by uh, Bobcat West. Um, we're looking at doing is replacing some of these concrete panels that are shot in bad bad shape. Currently, they're about eight inches thick. We need to make a disclaimer that if the sub base is in inadequate shape because this property is built on a fill, there will be additional charges for compaction and for additional material excavation and placement. Um, and then for all these pa panels, I want to get Ron's input on this, but I want to do number five rebar every 12 inch on center. And I want to dowel into the existing slabs the best we can. So I really want to get his input on this. Um, section C1 and C2 are going to be the base bid. This is C1 right here. C2 is directly behind it, I'll show you. And then the other ones are kind of wish lists. Um, also, price out additional costs if we pour on a Saturday. They want to possibly do this where we can excavate Thursday, Friday, and pour Saturday. Everything's going to be broom finish, and these thing, these uh, loads are we're pretty heavy here. They're, we're talking 30 tons on a forklift, and then fully loaded semis at 105.5. So that's why I wanted to get Ron's input on what to do here. So I'll give you measurements first. C1's a 13 by 52. Um, also, we're gonna, we're gonna trim the last six inches off that where the corner's broken. So we're gonna need to sub evergreen uh, saw cutting, concrete cutting for that. And you can just see it's a bunch of silt here. So I don't know if we wanna put it back to eight inches or if we wanna over excavate and put it back at 12. But that's another question for Ron. Section C2 starts under the rear axle right here. And I'll, uh, I'll measure it out and show you dimension. So C2 is a 25 by 145. So it's going to start at the seam right here, or end at the seam right here. You saw where it started under the semi, and it's going to be two panels wide. Um, this one's going to be important for logistics because they're going to we're going to have to keep them open too. So um, we're going to have to pour it like a checkerboard. C3 is going to be back over. C3 is a 40 by 150 attached to a 25 by 80 on the back corner. So this is the 25 by 80 section. Ending at this joint right here. It's a 25, so there to there. All the way through the intersection here. Up against these spools of uh, wire, which they say are about a ton of piece. So there's an idea for weight. And then full width, so three panels here straight back to the spool of wire there. And this is going to be one of the ones that we option out. Um, I guess the owner's 72 years old and he wants everything kind of cookie cutter. If I pick this, it's going to be this much. If I add this, it'll be this much. And uh, as they put it here, he'll out walk over a dollar to grab a nickel. So last section is just up here. Lastly, C4 in front of us is a 25 by 25 around the catch basin. And it's, I mean, you can just see all the, the dirt sinking and all that. So, concrete's anywhere from 6 to 8 inches on average. So, let's find out from Ron um, how we should go about this. We need to section, section it off to keep them open. They can move some of the product, they said. So that'll help. And then uh, let's figure out what it costs to pour on a Saturday and throw that as an option as well. That is it.